Won't you spare me over till another year? Hey guys, Riske here and welcome back to the House of Ashes or Dark Pictures House of Ashes. Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what we're here for. Um so yeah, um last we left off, um we just got started we did the intro and i think we did it to the best of our abilities and then um we met the curator once again who just is a he's kind of hot can't lie um okay so we're getting started um with eric i think his name was pretty sure it's either that or it's jason but no i think it's eric okay so we'll go well well anyway i guess we'll find out Ooh, pretty Iraq, 2003. That was a fun place to be. Jason Kolchak, first lieutenant, USMC Force Recon, confident and intolerant. Hey, Drew. Thanks. Eric King, uh, rational and insecure, Lieutenant Colonel in the Air Force. Not School. particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. Early. Uh, I know what, he seems like a genuinely nice guy. This Jason guy does not. Uh, we'll go with apologetic. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. We're glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Didn't you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. That's Taylor! You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Kolchak. First Lieutenant Kolchak. Well, the briefing room? That's absolutely Taylor from Little Hope. Same exact face. Oh, okay, what up? Uh, Rachel, I think. What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? Rachel King, CIA field officer, commanding and abrasive. Nick K, Sergeant USMC Force Recon, defensive and romantic. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. I mean, Rachel, are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Maybe I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. I'm gonna have them end up together, or at least try. I like them together. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. Okay. Whew. Got all hot and bothered. Okay, Eric again.
You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Wow. If only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> We got the CIA, we got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. Hold on. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. I see you, old man. You busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. Well, you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. You gonna spot me, little lady? I see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin, he likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the Colonel full sight access. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Nice work, hotshot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Okay, so something about this game that's really bothering me um, is that Eric looks just like my ex, who was also in the Air Force. So that's going to be rough <laughs> for this game. Just saying. Okay, anyway, I just had to get that off my chest. Let's see. What's this say? Do I get to know? Wouldn't surprise me. Can. Okay. Uh, subject, urgent results needed to acting CEO Rachel, Rachel King. Confidential. With the survey group becoming operational today, it is imperative to stress... I was reading that. Rude. Rude as hell. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. This is my team now. What are you talking about? 
I have direct orders from CENTCOM to assume command of your task force. Ouch. Are you serious? Have you known me to be any other way? Lieutenant Kolchak, if you'd be so kind. This is from SOC Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. Who the hell are you? This is Dr. Stokes. I've given her full clearance. I bet you have. Okay. Guess I'll go figure it out for myself. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds can bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? First of all, you're invading their fucking space and they're feral? Are you kidding me? Anyway. I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is- Sorry. Uh, Eric agreed to bring close air support on the mission. I just- we need all the help we can get. I'm just saying. Gross mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me set up the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rug down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Rach, this is it? 
everything I've worked on these past years. It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach, don't say that. Sorry, uh, Rachel told Eric that their marriage was over. I'm trying to break them up because I want Rachel and Nick to be together. They're really cute. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, wait for the download speed to the team, inspect the briefing room. Okay, can I finish reading this then? For God's sake. Let's see. Oh, maybe I have to turn the uh, sidebars back on. Uh, our military operations need a clear and compelling end state. U.S. forces have been engaged in, have engaged, been engaged in the threat to the international community from Iraqi something. Until we prove that threat, we cannot rightfully justify the invasion under international law. With the cessation of hostilities, the risk of the regime destroying evidence of something is heightened. The survey group needs to move quickly to identify and exploit something sites and personnel. Our allies in the international community need reassurance that our intelligence services are sound. Okay. I'm going to turn those sidebars back on because I think that's what the problem is. Uh, there we go. On. Okay. Yes. There we go. Okay, let's talk. You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. If shit hits the fan, at least we can rely on air support to dig us out. I'm sure it won't come down to that. You seem confident. You seem surprised. Okay. What's over here? What's this? Is this the same? No. Okay. Uh, subject survey group objectives to D Directorate of Central Intelligence. Uh, the objectives of the survey group are as stated. One, organize and direct intelligence capabilities across coalition, government agencies, and armed forces, US, UK, Australia. Uh, two, apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture, and exploit information on individuals, facilities, and operations re relative to weapons of mass destruction. Uh, organize and direct war operations to survey and exploit weapons of mass destruction sites within Iraq. The survey group uh, reports direct to CENTCOM and the Director of Central Intelligence. Okay. All right. I have no idea what any of that means. <laughs> What's this? What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. Tell me, Corporal, are you afraid of heights? <laughs> Please. I'm forced recon. I've trained in high altitude, low opening parachute jumps. Hostile conditions that would make most men wake up screaming for their mama. You paint quite the picture. I hope you're more than just mouth, Marine. Climbing gear. 
fucking pencil pusher. That didn't go well. Okay. Uh, oh, what's this? Excuse me. I would like to read this, please. Oh, confidential. Oh, pair Iraq survey group. Okay, I don't know what any of this means. Okay, but uh, hey, I found a secret, so that's good. It's always a good sign. Can I talk to y'all? No? Okay, what's with the map? What's going on here? Okay. Cool. Let's see. What's going on over here? Have I already looked at everything? Wait, what's this? Oh, no, this is different. What's this? Okay. Never mind then. I think it is. WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. These are unauthorized. If we break weapons conventions, then we're just as bad as Saddam. I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. Loud and clear, Colonel. We won't be taking them on the mission. We all cool? Yeah. I am. I prefer to do things by the book. I'm not about to fucking get us in trouble. What's up, soldiers? Okay, are we done yet? I feel like I've looked at everything I can look at. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? All right. Well, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh!